everybody, Nova here from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. I thought I would do a video about aspirin um, for two reasons. One is my mom and I discuss the issue of aspirin all the time. And two is because there's a new controversy on the medical front, so I thought it would be super timely. Um, so just quick background, aspirin, 81 milligrams, or other baby aspirin, is used currently to help prevent strokes and heart attacks. It does this by thinning the blood so that the clots are less likely to form, which can lead to a heart attack and stroke. Now that's the benefit. The risk is that because it does thin the blood, it's more likely to lead to bleeding ulcers and hemorrhagic stroke. So benefit risk. So we have to decide if the benefit outweighs the risk when we make these decisions on who should take aspirin. So everyone's still in agreement that on secondary prevention, which are for people that have already had a heart attack or stroke, that they should be at least on 81 milligrams of aspirin. They might be on a higher dose or they might have to have other drugs involved. So that's over there. Now, for people currently, for people who have not had a heart attack or stroke, the guidelines have pretty much been um, when men reach 55 and when women are, no sorry, when men reach 45 and when women reach 55, they should be started on a baby aspirin, regardless of what else is going on. But new studies have shown that the risk might outweigh the benefit here. So they're saying that really only if, for those still in the same ages, only people that have other risk factors, such as high blood pressure, high lipids, smoking, and diabetes should be started on aspirin. So if you have a woman and she's 55 years old, she doesn't have high blood pressure, no high lipids, no high cholesterol, that kind of thing, no diabetes, and if she's not smoking, then she should not be started on 81 milligrams of aspirin just for kicks because the risks would outweigh the benefits in that matter. So it's very interesting, I thought. It's something you'd want to definitely speak with your pharmacist or your doctor about, and we can go switching it up right away. Um, and definitely yeah, talk to them about that. And also for when those people who are, it is primary prevention, which means you haven't had a heart attack or stroke, and say you're a man and you're 50 years old and you do have high blood pressure and high cholesterol and you are going to start on an aspirin, the majority of time, just baby aspirin. There's no reason to take more than that because Aspirin does thin the blood, and it does have risks involved with it. Um, so just so you know, just baby aspirin. Uh, don't have the whole concept, like, my dad does, but more is better. Not true. <laughs> so anyway, I think that about wraps it up. That is the controversy that's out there. I'm sure studies are going to be reviewed a lot in the next couple of months, and I'll get back with you see what they're saying. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night, and thank you very much. Leave a comment, please. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.